Hello and welcome to another video from Pulsefire Gaming. Today, some of our keen-eyed viewers may recognize exactly what we're building based on a previous video we did. We are looking at today the Alliance Armed Station from O'Neill Creations. So, a while back we did put up a video uh, regarding the Armed Station from uh, the Imperial side that O'Neill Creations just put out. And today we're going to take a look at the uh alliance one and i gotta say i love the imperial station it very much reminds me of the classic golan but the uh the alliance station the rebel station is just utterly fantastic so we're gonna go together uh and put this uh, uh together and get it assembled we're using our stand from the alliance station uh and we went ahead and used the pre-supported files from this so this should go together well. First thing I'm going to do before I go in here, though, is I'm going to try and remove some of the boogers that were uh, left over from the uh, very generous supports uh, from O'Neill Creations. It shouldn't be so much of a problem on this station as it was with the Imperial Station, but I just want to make sure. I'm going to do a little test fit here. See how this looks. One thing that I really like about this station it is... is it's designed to very much go together well, and I'm excited to get this put together for you. Okay, we're putting a little bit uh, cart behind, uh, before the horse, but I see right now that we're gonna want to make sure that the inside of this is well. Now this is a dull craft knife that I'm using, so I'm not really worried about cutting myself, but you do be careful because I can't account for other people's stupidity other than my own. All right, so we have the top of the arm station and we've got the bottom of it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna apply some super glue to the top here. And if you are a fan of the old Star Wars games like uh, Star Wars Empire at War, this station will look very similar to a station that uh, exists in that IP. Um, this is built and designed to be fielded on a Star Wars Armada table. Uh, we won't use it for that. We'll use it for full thrust, but uh, that is uh, entirely what it's there for. You see how well that this uh, comes together and how it looks. So moving right along, we'll save that bit for last. We're going to take a look at this part and how it fits together. It looks like it fits together. Is that accurate? Once it go together like that, how, let's see. Okay. Next thing on here, it looks like this goes like that. Oh, hey, look at that. That fits. All right. So we're going to apply some glue to this seam in here. It's a little edge in here. And I'm using just DAP uh, gel super glue. You could use what you want. Um, there's a lot of good super glues out there. This DAP has served me well for quite a while, though. All right. One thing about this station that we kind of want to make sure that we get right is there are these arms. And you can see on the arms, there are little turbo laser cannons on here. Uh, and that kind of goes into what the arm station is. All righty. So that's together. Let's go ahead and put on this. Actually, we're going to take a few seconds to remove some bumpies on here. I love that uh, O'Neill Creations puts out pre-supported files, but uh, if you are adept at uh, supporting your own files, uh, give it a go and supporting those because you'll get less of these little pits. These pits come from having a specific contact depth specified in your settings, and some printers might be able to do better than that. We use an Illigoo Saturn in-house here at Pulse Fired Gaming, and that has served us well. Uh, Elgu actually has taken uh, very good care of us uh, as far as uh, post sale support. Uh, we were one of the first um, early, bir uh, early bird adopters of their new printer, and they have, I think, treated us very, very well. So that looks like that goes there next. Certainly not like that. We'll just make sure that that fits. That definitely fits on there. So let's, I guess we're just meant to glue this down. Yeah, that feels about right. 
So we're gonna apply it on the inside here, and this might actually need some accelerant to get this to stick. We'll see here in a second. A good cured 3D print with resin. I've noticed that when they come out really well, they are uh, very, very easy to super glue together. All right, so that is set. Now we're gonna go in here and we're gonna apply a little super glue into these three areas right here. And this super glue bottle is almost at its end, but I think it's still got a little service in there left for us. For ease of use, we're gonna stick this right on the stand and make sure that we're putting these in the correct orientation up. And we're gonna set that there. Now, it is a excellent fit, but I am gonna speed this along with a little of my Bob Smith Industries Instaset for all cyanoacrylate glues. All right, now we're gonna grab this next one and set it in there. And a little bit of that, and that is instant set, just like they say. And then lastly, we're gonna pop this guy in here like this. Whoop. And then just, oh no! Uh, we're gonna uh, tap this in here real quick. Hold it in there for just a second. And then pop a little, uh oh. Right there. Hard to do while on the camera. Set this here so we're not holding it in there. We can just go like this and whoop. I don't really ever use the spray uh, function. I basically use it as a dropper bottle. And now I think this is a little off kilter because of the warping that's occurring in the flat part of the stand. Um, all right, the piece de resistance. Apply a little bit of glue, not a ton. It fits well, it's been pre-fitted. And, oh, whoop. oh no, there we go, much better, much better. All right, and there you go. That is the Alliance Arms Space Station by O'Neill Creations. Uh, if you are interested in purchasing one of these, we are a licensed printer. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you have any comments regarding maybe our crappy printing job or our poor skills in uh, crafting, feel free to leave us a comment. And if you like the video, like it. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.